Hi guys, today we're going to be going over AP1 scores increasing. So, this problem states, given an array of scores, return true if each score is equal or greater than the one before. The array will be length 2 or more. So essentially what this problem is asking us to do is to check if the array is in ascending order. If it is in ascending order, return true, otherwise return false. Alright, cool. So we see here in this first example that the array contains the values 1, 3, 4. That is in ascending order, so we return true. But let's look at the second example. Um, it has the values 1, 3, 2. 1 is less than 3, but 3 is greater than 2. So we so that violates the rule, and we're going to return false. Alright, obviously there's a lot of ways to solve this problem. But the way I'm going to solve this problem is by looking at one value at a time. We're going to look at the first value and compare it to the second one. And if that's if the first value is less than the second value, we're just going to keep going and compare the second value with the third value and so forth until we go to the end of the array. So then we're going to need um we're going to need a integer variable that holds our first value. So we can do that by putting integer current equal to scores at index 0. Remember, index 0 is the very first value in an array. Then we want to run a for loop to, to completion, to scores.length. Then we want to check if our current number is ever greater than the number after it, then we want to return false. So in this example, if our current is 3 and it checks the number after, and we see that 3 is greater than 2, then we just want to return false right away. Otherwise, we want to update our current score to the number after it. So in this case, if we... so. In, so in the case of the first example, our current would start off at index 0, which is 1. And then it, we would have to compare it to the index after that, which would be at index 1. So 1 is less than 3. That passes the case. It's fine. We don't have to return false. And so then we update our current score to 3. And then after that, i gets updated to 2. And we, we're checking our current value which is 3 with 4 and 3 is less than 4 so we know that the array is in ascending order we have to start at uh, index 1 in the beginning of our for loop because we don't want to compare and we it can't be 0 because we don't want to compare current with itself we want to compare with the number after and the number after at uh, the number after index 0 is at index 1 so if we go if we iterate through the entire array and we never return false. Then at the very end, we want to return true. All right, let's see if this works. Cool. It does work. Yay.